Can you spot liver disease without any investigations? Do you know that your hands, your eyes or even your nails can reveal if there is a liver disease or not? Hi, I am Dr. Saurabh from Stethoscope 360, your quick stop channel for high yield clinical medicine. Today, I will go over 5 simple bedside signs that will help detect liver disease fast and effectively. So friends, let's start the video. Yellowing of sclera is often the first visible clue. It is called as jaundice. Jaundice is yellowish discoloration of skin, sclera and mucous membrane. It is due to the elevated level of bilirubin and this level is usually more than 2 to 3 milligrams per deciliter. And this jaundice is seen in hepatitis, cirrhosis and biliary obstruction. But always remember to check this in the presence of natural light. Next sign is palmar erythema. It is the redness of palm over the thinner and the hypothenar eminence sparing the central part. It is due to the elevated level of estrogen seen in chronic liver disease due to which there is increased flow of blood in the capillaries. And this palmal erythema is also seen in pregnancy, thyrotoxicosis and polycythemia. Then the third sign is called spider angiomata. These are actually the vascular lesions and they are made up of in the center there is a central arteriole and then the capillaries come out of it like this. Because this looks like a spider, this sign is called as spider angiomata. These are usually seen on the face, neck, arms and on the chest. These lesions are seen in cirrhosis, especially alcohol or decompensated liver disease. These lesions are due to increased estrogen levels due to which there is dilatation of the cutaneous blood vessels. Then the fourth sign is something called as teres nails. These are seen in the fingernails and also in the toenails. What you can see here, you can see that the proximal 80 to 90 percent of the nail, the color of it is white or ground glass. And the distal 10 to 20 percent or 1 to 2 millimeter of nail is red or brown color. These changes are linked to the hypoalbuminemia and the altered microcirculation seen in the liver disease. And the last but not the least is the ascites. Ascites is the abnormal accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. And we see this in liver cirrhosis due to portal hypertension. Ascites is diagnosed by shifting dullness and fluid thrill. When you percuss the abdomen, where there is a fluid, you get a dull note and where there is no fluid or there is intestine, you will get a tympanic note. Sometimes you can also get dilated blood vessels on the abdomen. So in summary, jaundice is the first sign that is the yellowish discoloration of sclera, skin and mucous membrane. And the second important sign is the palmar erythema. It is the redness of the thinner and the hypothenar eminence. And the third sign is spider angiomata. These are the spider-like vascular lesions seen on face, neck, arms and the chest. And the fourth sign is the teres nails. Here, proximal 90% of the nail is white and the distal 10% is pink or brown. And the last and the fifth sign is the ascites, which is the abdominal distension due to the fluid in the peritoneal cavity. That's all for today friends. If you find today's video helpful, give it a like, share with your batchmates and subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. See you in the next video. Till then, thank you.